Think about it. If everything started with a Big Bang, what was before that? How big is our universe if it keeps expanding? Will it ever stop? There's so little we know about the endlessness of space, but scientists do have some incredible theories. First, a short trip down memory lane. A mere hundred years ago, people believed the cosmos consists entirely of one galaxy, our own Milky Way. Scientists didn't know the age of the universe or that we live in just one tiny piece of it. There was no Big Bang either. The first person to notice that our galaxy has friends, countless other galaxies and interstellar clouds, was Edwin Hubble. Yeah, that Hubble. He found some objects are too far away to be in our Milky Way. He later discovered that the greater the distance from Earth, the faster a galaxy moves away from us. This is known as Hubble's Law. And it means our universe is constantly expanding. The next question was, where did this expansion start? Using complex mathematical equations I couldn't even begin to describe, scientists sort of rewound time back to the very beginning. What they found, a huge explosion could have caused the expansion. And thus, we got the Big Bang model. The Big Bang theory is one of the most accepted explanations for the origins of our universe. It says that about 14 billion years ago, Everything was all tightly packed into one super-hot, incredibly dense point. There were no stars, no atoms, no space or time. There was nothing. Suddenly, that point started to expand or stretch, and it didn't waste time doing it. Think of it this way. Within a teeny tiny fraction of a fraction of a second, the universe doubled its size almost 100 times. In just the blink of an eye, that initial point grew from the size of an atom to the distance between the Sun and the nearest stars. As the universe took up more space, the temperature dropped. Tiny particles of light and energy formed atoms. Those atoms grouped together and built the universe we know and live in. The next question. Where did that little tiny point come from? What was there before it? Well, maybe there was nothing at all. Just like an astronomer can't look at cosmic objects without a powerful telescope, physicists have no instruments to understand what was before all of existence. And we really can't use the word before, because at that point, time didn't even exist. Today, astronomers can observe only part of the universe. The real thing is probably 250 times larger than what we can see. If you travel from one edge of the observable universe to the other going the speed of light, it would take you 93 billion years. But everything you'll see – stars, planets, nebulae, galaxies, you name it – makes up only 5% of the universe's mass. The rest of it appears to be… Dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter has often been dubbed the glue that holds our universe together. It doesn't absorb, reflect, or emit light, so it's completely invisible. But scientists know that it exists because they see the effects it has on other visible objects. Sort of like how you can't see the wind, but you can notice it blowing the trees. This mysterious, invisible matter makes up 27% of our universe. If dark matter is the glue, then dark energy is like a hand trying to rip apart whatever that glue is holding together. You already know that since the Big Bang, our universe has been getting bigger. Scientists notice the universe doesn't grow at a constant rate. The expansion is accelerating. Dark energy is that force making our universe larger and larger, and it makes up 68% of its content. Now, if we can't find out what's beyond the observable universe, and we can't even see 95% of what exists, then we can only theorize what was before the Big Bang. The Theory of Cosmic Inflation The core of this idea is the concept of a false vacuum. To put it simply, imagine stretching a piece of rubber. Tension appears, and the rubber contracts. You can keep stretching it out, but it'll always fight the tension and want to go back to its normal state. This makes a false vacuum super unstable. It constantly decays into a normal vacuum. 
During decay, all this energy must go somewhere, so it just explodes. Cosmic Natural Selection Proponents of this theory suggest that a collapsing black hole created our universe, which contains black holes, which then create other universes on the other side. With each creation, a universe is a little different from the one the black hole existed in. The Multiverse Theory So, based on those theories, looks like we're dealing with a series of Big Bangs. That means there must be multiple universes created every moment. That also means we have an infinite number of parallel universes where thousands of your copies exist. Okay, we're living in a multiverse created by Big Bangs from a false vacuum. Where does all the energy for the birth of a universe come from? Though the theory is complex, the answer is fairly simple. There's no need for energy to create a universe, because the total energy of it is zero. The universes come randomly from nothing, like bubbles in a boiling pot. The Collapsed Universe Theory This one says that after many billions of years, the previous universe collapsed and exploded into our current one. If you like this idea, you'll be glad about having Albert Einstein on your side. His idea was that the universe can survive an endless cycle of large explosions and contractions. If so, then the Big Bang wasn't unique. It's just one explosion in a series of others. If we accept this theory, there's still one question left. Where did the first one in the series come from? Nobody knows. Maybe the universe was always there. Our brains just have a hard time imagining it. Stephen Hawking once said that trying to understand what was before the Big Bang is like trying to figure out what's south of the South Pole. If Einstein was right, the expansion of the universe won't continue forever. At some point, everything we know will contract and then collapse to produce a new one. This event is called the Big Crunch. But good news! Scientific research shows that this theory isn't correct. Right now, the expansion of the universe is still accelerating, so there's nothing to worry about. String Theory It was supposed to be the one to bring it all together, the theory of everything. The core of string theory is the idea that the world around us consists of ultra-microscopic vibrating strings. But for it to work, the universe would need 10 dimensions, 9 of space and 1 of time. The problem? We only have 3 – length, width, and depth. It sounds totally bizarre, but the math in this theory actually checks out. It might not explain what was before the Big Bang, but maybe scientists will find a way to use it in the future.